Well, praise the Lord. This is Bishop Warren Boyd, and this is Monday Motivation. This is our opportunity to give you a word of encouragement and a lift for your week. Today, we want to say just a few words about Easter and this resurrection season that we're in. People celebrate uh, this time of the year in a lot of different ways. Uh, some gather together as families. Some have special meals. Uh, some have Easter baskets and Easter egg hunts. Uh, a lot of different kinds of candy are available during this time of the year. Uh, there are hats and flowers to buy. Um, but, but thank God that even at, long after all of these things are gone or forgotten, the real reason for this resurrection season remains, and that is the resurrection of Christ the Lord. And I hope that we'll be thankful, and I hope that we'll celebrate this season for its real meaning. Easter is a time to, for us to remember uh, the, the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ and to give thanks for all that was accomplished. When you look at this, the whole scenario uh, of Christ at, uh, during the, the resurrection, uh, you get quite a picture of, uh, of a, a tragic scene that, that he was brutalized, that he was beaten, that Jesus was nailed to a cross, nailed in his hands, nailed in his feet, uh, pierced in his side, crown of thorns on his head. Uh, the prophet Isaiah says in Isaiah 52 that he was marred uh, more than any man, unrecognizable almost as a man. It's a bloody and it's a gory picture of what happened. And many times our portrayals, our pictures of Jesus on the cross are really are not accurate. Very little blood do we see in pictures. But it was not a pleasant scene. But out of this bloody and out of this gory and out of this tragic situation, God brings the resurrection brings new life and salvation and victory for you and for me. The, 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 real, the real truth and the, the real uh, truth of, of this situation is not just that Jesus died, but that Jesus died for you and for me, that Jesus died in our place and that he shed his blood and paid the debt for our sin with his own blood. That's the reason why we should really celebrate Easter, not just because he died, but because he died for you and for me and that he rose for our justification. So now for, e for Easter, we give thanks. We ought to celebrate. We ought to thank God for his only begotten son that died for our sins. We ought to thank God that he died, as the writer of Hebrews says, once and for all, that his blood paid the sin debt that we could never pay. The songwriter says, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. His blood was the only blood that could pay the debt for our sin. So now we celebrate his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And by faith in the finished work of Calvary and his resurrection, we now have been transformed from death to life, uh, from our sorrow to joy, from sin to salvation. This is a good time to celebrate. If you celebrate with family, if you celebrate with church, that's wonderful, that's good. If you have special meal, if you have Easter baskets, all of that's good. But don't forget the real reason to really celebrate Easter. And I hope that this Easter we will we'll, we'll not forget to celebrate that Jesus died and rose for you and for me. And now we celebrate the greatest victory of all that Jesus is alive, and because he lives, we can face tomorrow, and because he lives, all fear is gone. 
God bless you. This has been Monday Motivation.